The Goldfinch Purchase app can be used to process purchase orders, warehouse receipts, putaways, and purchase invoices. You can also run the supply planning feature to auto-suggest purchase orders. The supply planning feature will be demoed in a separate video. In the Goldfinch Purchase app, click Purchase Orders to view existing purchase orders with various statuses such as Open, Receipt Created, All Received, and Completed. Select on the Open list to see a list of all open purchase orders that have not been processed. Click New to enter a new purchase order. Type a few characters of the buy from vendor name to search for the vendor. Choose Elite Suites Brands Incorporated. All other fields are populated automatically. You can review and edit fields as needed, such as order date, warehouse, expected receipt date, and payment terms. To enter the order lines, click Add Lines. Type a few characters of the item name or description to search for the item. You can click on the lookup button to search by items by different fields. After you filter, you can click on select button to choose the item. Enter 7000 to the first line. You can change the default purchase unit of measure. Enter quantity 100. The unit cost is populated based on the pre-configured purchase price setups. Enter 7001 to the second line. Enter quantity 200. Click Save. You can print the purchase order. You can also email the PO to the vendor. To receive inventory, click Create Receipt to create a warehouse receipt. Click Edit to change quantity if needed. Click Enter Receiving Lots to enter the lot number for all items that require lot tracking. Enter 60 to the Lot Quantity tab. Enter 032321B to the second line. Click Save. Click Post. Scroll to the item ledger entries. To see the inventory is posted with the expected costs and zero invoice cost. Scroll to the warehouse entries to see that the inventory is posted into the received bin with lots. If a putaway is required for the warehouse, click Create Putaway. You can use the putaway to move inventory from the received bin to a pick or storage bin and also to break bulk receiving unit of measure, such as box to sales unit of measure, like each. Click Edit to change that to bin or to unit of measure if you want to break bulk. Click Post.
Scroll to the warehouse entries to see that the inventory has been moved from the receive bin to the pick bin. Go back to the purchase order. Click create invoice. Click edit to change the quantity or unit cost if needed. Click on post. Enter the vendor invoice number. Click on post invoice. Scroll to the GL entries to see that the account's payable account is credited and the inventory account is debited. Scroll to the cost entries to see that the expected cost is reversed out and the actual invoice cost is posted.